Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how we can take advantage of generative AI features in Excel by leveraging the new AI prompts feature in Power Platform. We will build our own custom prompt and connect this to our Excel file by leveraging Power Automate. Let's check it out in action. I have an Excel file that has information about customer feedback. I would like to categorize the information that is available in the comments column and I would like to set those categories in the categories column. And for this, I will leverage the new AI prompts capability in Power Platform. Think of prompts as a way of building custom GPT functions using simple natural language. To get started with prompts in make.powerapps.com, if I head over to more, we have AI Hub, and in here we have AI Prompts. This I'll go and pin on the left navigation. To get started with creating prompts, click on create text using custom prompt. These AI GPT based prompt models run on Azure Open AI service. We've been provided with some standard out of the box prompts that we can take advantage of text classification or text summarization, extracting action points from text and more. I'll create a custom task and click create custom prompt. Now to get the most out of your prompts, it's very important to be clear and specific for the instructions that you provide to this model. Give some good examples, define your output format, test and iterate to see if the responses meet the desired outcome. Ensure that you have human intervention so you have the opportunity to review the AI response. I would like to categorize the feedback that I'm receiving. So my prompt will be for the following text, I can add dynamic values. These values I can provide to this prompt dynamically either through Power Automate or Power Apps. I will say add dynamic value. I'll call this feedback, press tab. So it creates that dynamic value. I can add multiple dynamic values to my prompts. So for the following text, categorize the information into the following categories. And I have provided four categories. Now I can test this prompt right here by heading to test. And I'll pick one sample customer feedback, place it right here and test the prompt. And this is the response that AI has provided. Now in my scenario, I only want the output categories so I can be more specific in my prompt. So I've updated the prompt to say the response should provide only the category values. I'll click test prompt. These are the two category values. I'm ready to save this prompt. I will go ahead and rename my prompt. I'll call it customer feedback categorization and I will go ahead and save my custom prompt. My prompt is saved and I'm ready to leverage this model in apps and flows. The prompt will be available under my prompts. I can select and edit it. I can also share these prompts with other users in my organization so they can also take advantage of this prompt. To categorize all the data in my Excel file in one go, I will take the advantage of Power Automate. I would like to build a flow that can loop through all the rows of my Excel file and then update the rows. So I'll provide my intent, click generate. AI Copilot recommends a suggested workflow. I'll click next. 
it creates the connection i'll go ahead and click create the flow the flow triggers manually list rows present in a table my location will be onedrive for business library will be onedrive my excel file is in a folder placed in onedrive called feedback i'll navigate to the feedback folder and here's my excel file this will load the table within that excel file my table is called customer feedback now for each of these rows i would like to go and call my ai prompt so i can categorize the feedback i'll click on the plus icon add an action and simply search for gpt the action is called create text with gpt using a prompt i'll select this this will list out all the prompts that i have access to customer feedback categorization when i select that it will give me all those dynamic input parameters that i created i created one for the feedback i'll select this go to dynamic content and provide the comments dynamic content coming from my excel table this is the data in the comments column if i click edit i have the ability to directly edit the prompt here or test the prompt here and the response of that prompt i would use to update my row i'll pick my table key column customer name i'll pick that as my unique key in that table and the value would come from the dynamic content customer name i'll click on show all so it will list out all the columns in my excel table one of them is categories that's what i would like to populate dynamically with data coming from the create text with gpt using a prompt action the response that that prompt will provide is in the dynamic content text the for each loop will run one by one for each row if you want to run actions in parallel i can go to for each settings concurrency and increase the level to a maximum of 50 i'll go and save my flow now if you do get this message that the prompt action does require an approval action this will not be a mandatory action very soon however it is best practice to have some form of human intervention because ai generated content can make mistakes so recommendation after the gpt prompt action i can go and add an action i'll search for approval in the approvals connector one of the actions we have is start and wait for an approval of text i can give my approval a title suggested text this is where you would want to put that ai generated text response this is something that the approver can validate and modify if desired approver i'll plug in my email address in the detail section i can give the actual commands that the customer provided and once the approval action completes then when i'm updating the row categories i would pick the accepted text option from the start and wait for an approval action i'll directly pick the text one thing that i can do is for the approval action i can give it a timeout i'll give it a 1 minute timeout and my update a row action i would like to run this if my start and wait for an approval action either succeeds or times out now if i save the flow that saves my flow my flow is ready i'll simply go ahead and click run and run the flow the flow gets triggered and there you go on the fly power automate has gone ahead loop through all the rows in my excel file 
and populated the categories by leveraging custom prompts which uses GPT AI. The output of the prompt will be of type text, but you can format that text output. You can see it sends the response comma separated. If multiple categories, then output them as pipe separated. The output is in JSON format. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.